All right, let's see what's going on in the shop. I've been busy today. I got my new belt order in and built a new belt rack. So I got tons of belts in everywhere. I'm not exaggerating when I say tons of belts. Here's my grinding station here. I got some uh, Damascus. I just cut up with a hacksaw. And this is going to be for some jewelry. Little freeform pendants. Got some titanium bottle opener knives going on. I've just finished cleaning up the surface of those, and those are well on their way for a new batch. Some S7, you guys seen? Uh, I just got the scales in for those. See what's going on in this room. Been doing lots of filing lately, so I got everything out there. These little Nicholsons are great for getting inside of stuff, and then lots of cheap files too. And you name it. There's some of the scale material I have for latest stuff. I got my new chamfer bit and finally this thing has been epic. <laughs> um, and that is for these right here. Check this out. Yep, that's Damascus. What I've been doing is uh, chamfering these two big holes today. That's taken me most of the day actually. Um, and then hand sanding them, getting in the little small spots and that type of thing. These are well on their way. I got only six in Damascus. And I've got a dozen I'm doing in titanium here. Check the thickness there. They're pretty thick. They're 0.95. It's thicker than uh, some of the pry bars I've made in titanium, actually. And then the Damascus, it's, uh, I think it's 100. I got all kinds of titanium going on. Here's something I made on my porch. Um, Back in the day with just some files and sandpaper and this little clamp on vice right here. So for you guys getting into tool making, I've had a lot of emails asking about making small stuff. This is the second project I ever made. This is just some mild steel from the hardware store. It actually works great for a bottle opener. I've had one on my fridge for a couple years now. Yeah, that's lots of fun. That's just all done by hand. More bottle opener knives. I'm working on a one off Damascus Kiridashi. This is in that raindrop, also. You can see I've been rounding the spine and just doing some basic profiling. Got it wrapped up in this uh, masking tape so I can clamp it off and. Uh, do some jimping with the uh, checkering file. Got some ultra, ultra thin 15 and 20 kitchen knives and gaiuto I'm working on here. And I know I didn't pronounce that right. A little kitchen chopper, a, uh, a necker here with a little different handle than normal. Some Mary Carter inspired. It's actually a really tall grind for uh, steel that thin. It's gonna be a real slicer. And they're Kiridashi. I'm going to make more of these for sure. I really like this. Super lightweight. Reminds me of titanium. I bet this is, I don't know, 10 or 15 grams. All kinds of stuff going on. You never know what you'll see here. DC today, 10 inches and 16th inch thick. Yeah, this one. Thin knives today. I think it might be four coming. Uh, that's my uh, radio station. Anyway. But here is Blade Forums it's right here. Big my sub forum there. Check it out if you guys haven't seen it. Watch out for a collaboration. I've got coming with them. That's right. not gonna focus. <laughs> Well, hey, thanks for watching. I'm going to go in soon. Sun's going down. You guys have a great night.